Are you curious about the success secrets of Shark Tank's billionaire investor, Mark Cuban? In this video, we'll take a closer look at his top five investments on the show and discover the strategies he used to turn them into multi-million dollar successes. From ingenious products to game-changing apps, we'll reveal the inside scoop on Mark Cuban's winning investments and what it takes to make it big in the cutthroat world of entrepreneurship. So if you're ready to learn from one of the greatest investors of our time, grab your notepad and join us for this deep dive into Mark Cuban's investment strategies on Shark Tank. Welcome to the AF Empire channel, where we focus on influencers, stars, and famous people. If you're interested in this kind of content, then this channel is for you. Make sure to like this video, click on the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on our recent uploads. Today, we're looking at Mark Cuban's top five Shark Tank investments, starting with number five and going all the way to his number one investment. Are you ready to get inspired? Let's go. Five, Beatbox Beverages. Kicking off our list at number five is Beatbox Beverages. In season six, Mark Cuban invested $1 million for a 33% stake in this innovative, ready-to-drink cocktail company. Founders Justin Fenchel, Amy Stedman, and Brad Schultz pitched their unique boxed party punch to the Sharks. With flavors like blue raspberry, fruit punch, and pink lemonade, Beatbox Beverages aim to revolutionize the alcohol industry by offering a convenient and fun alternative to traditional alcoholic beverages. Post Shark Tank, Beatbox Beverages has expanded its product line and distribution. The company secured a partnership with national retail giant 7-Eleven, placing its products in over 1,000 stores across the United States. Beatbox Beverages also expanded internationally, with products available in Canada and Australia. With annual sales exceeding $20 million, it's clear that this investment has been a smashing success for Cuban. In addition to securing retail partnerships, Beatbox Beverages has become a staple at major music festivals, such as Coachella and Lollapalooza, further increasing its brand visibility. Cuban's guidance and connections in the entertainment industry have been instrumental in Beatbox Beverages' success. Four, Simple Sugars. Coming in at number four is Simple Sugars. In season four, Mark Cuban invested $100,000 for a 33% stake in this all-natural skincare line. Founder Lonnie Lazari was only 18 years old when she appeared on Shark Tank, but had been running her business since age 11. The company offers a range of skincare products made from natural ingredients like sugar, fruit, and essential oils. After the initial success on Shark Tank, Mark Cuban and Lonnie Lazari focused on strategic growth and expansion. They worked together to streamline the production process, enabling Simple Sugars to keep up with the increasing demand. The company now operates in a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, ensuring that the products are made with the highest quality standards. Cuban's expertise in branding and marketing played a significant role in Simple Sugars' growth. They revamped the company's website, making it more user-friendly and visually appealing and launched targeted marketing campaigns to reach new customers. These efforts paid off, as Simple Sugars has garnered a loyal customer base and has been featured in numerous media outlets, including Women's Health, Allure, and Forbes. One of the keys to Simple Sugars' success has been its commitment to using only natural ingredients, catering to customers with sensitive skin or those seeking more eco-friendly skincare options. Cuban and Lazari have maintained this focus on quality and sustainability as the company has grown, ensuring that Simple Sugars remains a trusted and respected brand in the skincare industry. Simple Sugars also values its social responsibility and has given back to the community through charitable initiatives. The company supports organizations like Girls Inc., which aims to empower and inspire young women and has donated a portion of its sales to worthy causes. The partnership between Mark Cuban and Lonnie Lazari showcases the power of combining a brilliant entrepreneurial idea with the right investor and mentor. Simple Sugar's incredible journey serves as an inspiration to aspiring entrepreneurs and highlights the potential of collaboration and hard work in achieving extraordinary success. Three, Rugged Maniac. At number three, we have Rugged Maniac. 
This high intensity obstacle course race was pitched to the Sharks in season five and Mark Cuban saw its potential. He invested $1.75 million for a 25% stake. Co-founders Rob Dickens and Brad Scudder had a vision to create an exhilarating experience for thrill seekers and fitness enthusiasts alike. With over 30 events annually and over 150,000 participants, Rugged Maniac has grown exponentially since its Shark Tank appearance. With Cuban's investment, Rugged Maniac was able to improve its obstacle courses, making them even more challenging and exciting. The brand also expanded its event offerings to include Rugged Maniac X, an elite version of the race featuring additional obstacles and a competitive prize pool. The company also established partnerships with charities like the American Cancer Society, encouraging participants to raise funds for a good cause. Cuban's strategic guidance and connections in the sports and entertainment industries helped propel Rugged Maniac to new heights, leading to the successful acquisition by Gatehouse Live. Mark Cuban's investment in Rugged Maniac allowed the company to take its events to the next level. Under his mentorship, the team focused on enhancing the participant experience, ensuring that every race was unforgettable. They also invested in marketing and promotion, which helped Rugged Maniac attract a wider audience and build a loyal following of fitness enthusiasts and adrenaline junkies. With Cuban's help, Rugged Maniac expanded its reach beyond the United States, hosting events in Canada and attracting international participants. This global expansion further boosted the company's reputation as a premier obstacle course race provider. In addition to expanding the event offerings and improving the obstacle courses, Cuban's guidance helped Rugged Maniac develop a strong brand identity. This focus on branding allowed the company to stand out in a crowded market, making it the go-to choice for those seeking a unique and challenging fitness experience. One of the key factors behind Rugged Maniac's success was its commitment to giving back to the community. The partnerships with charities like the American Cancer Society not only generated significant funds for these organizations, but also helped raise awareness about their causes. This focus on social responsibility endeared Rugged Maniac to its participants and further solidified its position as a leader in the obstacle course racing industry. The acquisition by Gatehouse Live, a leading live event and media company, was a testament to the growth and success that Rugged Maniac achieved with Mark Cuban's investment and mentorship. This acquisition allowed the company to benefit from Gatehouse Live's resources and expertise, setting the stage for even greater success in the future. Rugged Maniac's journey is an inspiring example of how a great idea, combined with the right investment and strategic guidance, can turn into a flourishing business. The company's achievements serve as a reminder of the importance of innovation, hard work, and perseverance in the world of entrepreneurship. Two, 1031 Productions. Next up is 1031 Productions, a live horror entertainment company. In season five, Mark Cuban made his largest investment on Shark Tank, $2 million for a 20% stake. Founded by Melissa Carbone, 1031 Productions creates large scale horror attractions like haunted hayrides and ghost ships. The company was a massive hit, expanding to multiple locations across the United States. Under Mark Cuban's guidance, 1031 Productions expanded its range of immersive horror experiences. The company began to offer seasonal events, such as a Christmas-themed haunted house called Krampus, A Haunted Christmas. 1031 Productions also ventured into virtual reality, creating horror-themed escape room experiences. Cuban's investment provided the capital needed to expand the business and develop partnerships with major entertainment companies. In 2018, Live Nation Entertainment acquired the company, and while the exact figures were not disclosed, it's clear that this investment was a thrilling success for Cuban. Number 1. Groovebook Finally, our number one investment on the list is Groovebook. In Season 5, Mark Cuban invested $150,000 for a 20% stake in this ingenious subscription-based photo printing service. Founders Julie and Brian Whiteman 
developed an app that allows users to choose 100 photos per month from their smartphones to be printed in a 4.5 by 6.5 inch photo book, all for only $2.99 per month. In just a few years, Groovebook saw massive success, boasting over 500,000 subscribers. Mark Cuban's investment in Groovebook was a game changer for the company. With his support and guidance, the Whitemans were able to capitalize on the growing market for convenient and affordable photo printing solutions. Cuban's strategic advice helped Groovebook improve its app, making it more intuitive and accessible for users of all ages and skill levels. This led to a significant increase in the app's user base and customer satisfaction. Cuban's connections in the retail industry were also instrumental in expanding Groovebook's reach. By partnering with major retailers like Walmart and CVS, Groovebook was able to offer its photo books for sale in-store, introducing the service to an even broader audience. These strategic partnerships, combined with targeted marketing campaigns, helped the company establish a strong brand presence and become a leader in the photo printing industry. The acquisition by Shutterfly in 2015 was a testament to Groovebook's success and the value of Mark Cuban's investment. Shutterfly, a well-established online photo printing service, recognized Groovebook's potential and saw it as a perfect addition to its portfolio. The acquisition allowed Groovebook to benefit from Shutterfly's resources and infrastructure, further accelerating its growth and solidifying its position as a top player in the market. Post-acquisition, Groovebook has continued to thrive under the Shutterfly umbrella. The app has maintained its core features and affordability while also benefiting from Shutterfly's expertise in the photo printing space. Today, Groovebook remains a popular choice for smartphone users seeking an easy and cost-effective way to print and preserve their memories. Mark Cuban's investment in Groovebook is a prime example of the power of strategic partnerships, mentorship, and innovation in the world of entrepreneurship. The company's meteoric rise and eventual acquisition serve as a shining example of what can be achieved with the right investor, a brilliant idea, and a relentless drive for success. There you have it, folks. Mark Cuban's top five investments on Shark Tank, showcasing his keen eye for spotting promising businesses and turning them into massive successes. What is your favorite Shark Tank investment? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope these stories inspire you to think big and chase your entrepreneurial dreams. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to AF Empire for more inspiring content just like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.